Greetings, YouTube. So recently on YouTube, I saw someone had made a blowgun out of a piece of half-inch conduit. Now, they used a piece that was four feet long, but I bought this piece um, pre-cut at five feet, and it's got nice deburred ends, and uh, it cost me two bucks, so I'm not going to cut it down. I'm going to work with uh, this piece right now. That spring is just there to keep the tube from rolling off my table. Um, and they used uh, one and a half inch straight uh, shank nails. I don't have any of those. I didn't feel like buying any. But I've got this bin I bought at a yard sale, and I bought there's four of these containers and a five gallon bucket with a seat on top. I picked it up for like three dollars, and it's got lots and lots of drywall screws and uh, decking screws, which I am never going to use because these are the standard Phillips heads. And I really don't like standard Phillips heads. I prefer star drive or square drive. So I'm going to use those to make darts. And the things I need are paper, a pointy thing that has a little weight to it, some scissors, some masking tape. And when you're done, you end up with something that looks like that. And that is proof of concept. I set the target up and I hit that at probably about six or seven feet just to see if it would work. And it worked admirably. Flew, in, flew decent, hit there pretty deep. And as you can see, it takes a bit of effort to remove the dart. So I've got some bunch of pieces of paper here. So I'm gonna make some more of these. I pick my pin myself up a quick and dirty uh, target I just grabbed an image off of YouTube, off of Google, so that would be, you know, just something to, to, to strive towards. Um, and I'm going to set the camera up, and I'm going to see if I can center this because I don't have a. This is a camera that only has a screen in the back. Hard for me to center things, so I'm going to aim this at the table. I'm going to put a put a spot on the table with a piece of tape so that hopefully I will stay in within that spot, and then then I will make a uh, a dart or a couple. I make a dart so you can see how I did it. Um, so that should be next. Alrighty, I think I have this centered on that mark right there. So this is what I'm going to do. So remember, this is the only like the third one of these I've made. So cut me a little slack. First one, the second one came out really nice. I don't know why this one's not cooperating as much. Just to hold you a little bit close for a moment. There we go. Cut that bit there. It's a little loose. these two to each other. And I'm going to cut some of this off. That's way too big. I'm going to put a little more tape on here. Reinforce this a little bit. Make it a little more rigid. Hopefully make it a little Slightly more durable. Alrighty, now I'm going to take this piece of tube. This is going to be a little bit awkward because I'm, again, trying to keep this in frame. It's a little bit, a little bit tight. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to keep that in frame. Okay, that's almost got it. It's always easier to do it a little bit of time. Whenever you're doing this, you know, 
measure twice, cut once philosophy. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Alrighty. Now that I have um, demonstrated how to do this, roughly, I mean, it's not perfect. I may put a little more tape here to, to bind it to the threads a little bit more. And again, making it slightly heavier isn't going to be a horrible thing. And I'm going to make a bunch of these up, and then I'm going to try this out in my, my garage with my target. See how that goes. So, I need to make a bunch of more of these. All right, folks, we are in my garage. I have set up a target. I do not know what the distance is. Um, I don't know. I'm about 15 feet away. Let's see how well I do. Now, please give me a little, uh, a little uh, bit of acceptance here. The fact that I haven't done this in 35 years, so I may well miss. Well, that was in the white ring. That's not bad. Whoop. That one's a little tight. I may have to trim some of that one off. I brought my scissors with me so I could do that. This one seems a little looser. All right, a little high into the right. Some seems a little tight as well. Yep, too tight. That one's too tight. I'll take that one out, put it down for a moment. Oh, I, that one hit, but it just bounced off. That stings. Same problem. Hmm. I think I need softer wood. I think the, this is just too hard. But we're going to try this again. I'm going to trim that one, those two off, the other ones, and we're going to set this back up, get you a better better shot, better, better close-up. All right, I've had to relocate this thing onto the floor because the, the uh, tripod I'm currently using is too small for the task at hand. I have a larger tripod, which I had not really felt like bringing out here, and I probably should have. This is my little portable one, the one I use for doing my uh, my knife reviews and such, because so I can sit it on a table. Hope you can hear me. So now we're going to give it a try from a, about the same distance as before. I trimmed those two darts. I'm going to step back a couple paces. Oh, got a bouncer on that one. I'm now standing outside the garage. I need a softer board. Well, that ain't bad, you know? I mean, I haven't done this in a really long time, and I'm shooting at a range of about 25 feet. So, that's not bad, with like, no practice. I fired like 12 rounds out of this thing, so I think I have got something that might actually work. Now, I think I'm going to want to reinforce these things a little more. Um, the ones with the tape going all the way to the end, I think, are superior to the ones that just have the tape, the paper showing. The moisture from my mouth is actually deforming one of those, so that's not good. And I think I need a softer target. This uh, plywood is great for construction, not so good for taking in the darts I'm, I'm firing. Um, but they are doing pretty good. The ones that aren't bouncing off are doing pretty good as far as penetration is concerned. So I'm happy with that result. Um, so yeah, it's going to be... Maybe modify the darts slightly, make them a little more rigid. Um, 
get a better target. I'm gonna see if maybe I, I know I can probably do get a piece of, can I get a 12 piece of one by 12 or actually two by 12, two by 12. Go find a scrap at the, at the, at the uh, hardware store and that should work. And it'll be wide enough I can put the target on because I can print these targets off you know, as many as I want. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty good test for something that I invested almost nothing in. I mean, $2 for the pipe. Uh, I have the screws, I had the tape, I had the paper, I had the boards, um, you know, two pennies to make the target, if that, because I've got a, uh, a toner fed printer, so it doesn't use inkjet, it uses uh, powdered toner, so that's pretty inexpensive, so that's not too bad. So that has been my ex first experience with a blowgun in 35 years, not too shabby.